Hey guys, still here and welcome back to episode 28 of Long War 2 for XCOM. I am in a bit of a pinch. I have Red Ford still doing a smash and grab, but far more important right now is this mission. It's Operation Storm Prince. I have 3 days and 20 hours to infiltrate. I have a mech squad size of 8. And there is a whole bunch of aliens coming my way. Now, this of course works both ways. Um, baseline is light, but since I have so little time to actually do an infiltration, I'm going to need either a very good squad that um, is smaller, because if I start to take soldiers away, it goes back to light. But at the same time, I kind of want a few more corpses, because the corpses can allow my soldiers to get better gear. If I were to go with the whole of uh, Blind Commando, as far as they're available, it would be swarming or heavy. I don't want that. I think I can manage moderate, but I'd rather just have a light operation. Light to moderate. The operation is not just going to be executed by the Blind Commando, though. I'm going to clear the whole squad and handpick the operatives who are going on this mission. It is definitely going to be Kenner. I'm definitely bringing a sniper or two. Preferably actually two, so it's going to be both Stephanie and Largazo. Um, the next one's going to be Duke. And then we have Zoda. And with this team I have two direct damage dealers, two long range damage dealer and a spotter. That is the plan. 101% infiltration. This got to be tricky, guys. Unfortunately, I don't have good gear for my snipers yet. It's just sniper rifles. And with that, I might find that the damage output is lacking. I'm a little concerned with that. Advanced expanded magazine for you. Uh, you're still carrying a pistol at this stage. Let's switch that. And where's AP rounds? Here's AP rounds. Allows you to directly penetrate enemy armor. I'm also going to make armors available to make sure that the operatives who are going on this mission have the best possible chances of actually coming home. So Stephanie got a better outfit. Uh, Largazo, all being a sniper and usually not being on the front line, I do want him in predator armor. And Zoda. Albeit the fact that he's not likely to get detected. Predator armor. Better safe than dead. Checking weapons upgrades. Again, you don't really need any additional weapon type. Although I can upgrade you to have an elite laser sight on it. And your weapon is pretty much as good as it's ever going to get. This, by the way, is part and parcel of why he has such a high kill rate. Increases aim by 15%, decreases damage by 40%, while decreasing critical hit chance by 100. So, he's very likely to hit, he's very likely to kill, but he's just not that likely to crit, because of that minus 100% chance to crit. Let's go for an additional mobility boost on him, and his drone um, blinding protocol. To neutralize or at least reduce enemy effectiveness in the sense of accuracy. Good luck. And uh, let's hope that there's not too many aliens coming at you at once. Do I have the spider suit? Not yet. I still need to research that. Carry on. Um... I think we have enough to build another spark. No, I need one more alloy. Oh, we're first going to get the smash and grab. Okay. This is Red 4, another one of my lesser experienced squads, although at this point they're all fairly balanced. They're on a smash and grab, which is going to help me with more alloys, at least. I hope so. As well as more Illyrian. I don't particularly need more... Um, of those Lyrium cores, although they're always handy. And aside from that, more experience for my troops is always appreciated. There's one Psy operative on the left. Uh, there's also my Samurai, you can see him on the right. 
I have a sniper. I have, I think, a shinobi. Although she's definitely staying out of sight. And my Jaeger over here. I forgot who's leading this team. I think there is no officer for this team, actually. Two groups, or two bits of loot. Three, four, Seemingly one on the roof. Five bits of loot, and the extract is on our way there. Alright, Royal. You're an exceptionally good scout. On my way. Scout ahead far. I know there's a tower up there, but so be it. Uh, I don't have a lot of high ground available for my sniper. I must try to plan around my snipers to see where I can best deploy those. Make my feet light. Weeb. Moving out. Move up. Rattler. Get it covered. Aiden. Um, lacking high ground, I'm going to need you to steady your weapon. And sudden death. Hold. Don't fire that double sawed-off shotgun. You're never going to hit anything at this range. Maybe with one or two pellets, but that's it. Contact. Did you see us? No. All that this group has been spotted by is royal. So we're fine. I just need to get a better look at them. Roger that. I need my sniper to see them. Both. Yep, there we go. Can you hit him? Shit! Hurst has no line of sight. Okay. Change plans. We're gonna have to be pushing in. Moving to position. Rattler. Come at me, bro. The beauty of the Jaeger. If a new squad's revealed, you immediately get reaction shots. This is why I sent Rattler forward first. Good amount of damage. Six on him, three on him. Uh, it looks like the trooper doesn't even know where to go anymore. <laughs> there you are. Now do you have a shot? Now you have a shot. It is at the officer. It's only a 57, but I'll take it anyway. There you go. No more officer. Okay. Now, can you... Am I not likely to finish him off? Nope. No joy. Yeah, I didn't get it. Maori can get out there and kill him. With the risk that I get another squad lit up. I'm moving out. So I'm going to let Weep do it. Because soul fire never misses. Good day, sir. He's down. Okay. Move in. Royal. Move up further. Okay. That's a fast and efficient way to deal with one squad. Pick up the pace! Let's go! Well, since so far nothing's been detected, I can move up a little bit more. I don't want to be overly aggressive here. Come on. Nope, nothing there. Okay, good. I'm on it, Commander. If you're going to see something, you might see it from there. Yep, turrets. Not what I was expecting. But this is what you got snipers for. Unfortunately, he might not be packing AP rounds. What? Did you miss that? Cracked for your help. No, you didn't miss it. You grazed it. Oh, uh, not helping. I want you to actually hit that thing. Heading out. Rattler. Good to go. Fortunately, that turret has no spotter. Got it covered. So the turret might be out there, but Just as of right now, it doesn't do much. Custom painted armor makes them professionals. 
Holding position. Weeb, all the way over there. Sudden death. You too. Let's go. Contact left. Okay. This is a squad of four. I'm gonna have to put these guys down soon. Um. We're gonna do that Overwatch trick again. Hopefully. Come on, Rattler. Get some damage in, buddy. No reaction fire there. No reaction fire there either. Here's a reaction shot. <laughs> Executed. That was a stun lancer as well. Good work. And that... I think... Yes, that's a rocketeer. You need to go down priority. Can you see him from here? You can. Good. Now that turret is going to be particularly annoying. At least temporarily. is just starting. Good work. It's one less to worry about. Now, I need you to hit that turret again. I know you're not going to kill it, but just keep doing damage to it. And thus reducing its accuracy. That's a lot of damage reduction. Or hit point reduction. Rattler. An 85% there. This is a kill. I'm gonna go for a kill. Good work. Because I'm going to do something which might work. This is uh, risky. I do want to go for it though. It looks like it's going to work. Sudden death dashes out. And chops the robot in pieces. Good kill. Hang on. That does leave him out in the open, but he has implacable, so he can move. Take care of him. I'm not gonna move just yet, though. Because I have more plans. This is an 8 to 10. I'm gonna park this guy in between two blade storms. What are you packing, Maori? Is it just a combat knife, or... Oh, he has a combat knife, otherwise we would have killed him. He does, however, have the blade storm uh, protocol. No matter where this guy is going to go, he's going to get killed. Royal. Let's have a peek inside. Yes, Commander. Contacts. There's a mute on there and a rocketeer, I think. Hold your position. I'm on it, Commander. Okay, officer. Oh, they're leaving as well. That's good. Gives me a bit more time to reorganize. Yeah, I don't think so. Second blade storm. Second blade storm didn't do anything. Hold on now. Oh fuck me. Ow. That was not good. Go and get some vengeance on this guy. Jesus. If his blade storm had triggered, he would have been dead. But he moved outside the range. And considering the combat knife did so little damage, since it wasn't a concealed attack, now Maori is once again going to the medical bay. Fuck. He's such a good officer. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it might be. Uh, Weeb. I need you to hold position here and wait for the others to catch up. I need you okay. to scout out the roof. Now, Michelle currently does not really have a direct damage roll. That's not her part. I need to be able to see where the enemy is so I can then plan my next attack accordingly. 
And that's why I don't mind spending some uh, trooper points, if you will. Spending a troop slot on uh, um, Royal. Because it just makes it a lot easier to have her on the mission. Cadet Nog, report for duty, sir. We have a reloader. I don't think he's going to be terribly useful from where he is right now. At least not yet. These guys are both hurt. It's going to put this whole squad back in the red. Because they were doing quite well. Got it. Move him. Bit tricky, but I think they're gone. Yeah, they're gone temporarily. All right. Understood. Let's go get this chest, so we at least have one. Got the goods. That will get her detected. We've Overwatch. put her on Overwatch. Aye, aye. In case those guys head to the roof, I want to know about it. Hunker down. Overwatch. Hurst. Full speed ahead. Sudden death. Um, mm -mm -mm. Go! Don't get detected. Okay, he's good. Here they come now. They're on the roof. At least one of them is, anyway. That was a sectoid. I don't mind the sectoid being on the roof. I just don't want the muton on the roof. There's the muton. There was a rocketeer with him as well. Oh shit, another muton. And there's the rocketeer as well. Hello. It's two different patrols of two, uh, two units each. That's what we're looking at here. It looks like the enemy has the high ground. <laughs> okay then. Um, Maori, I'm going to do something dangerous with you. And that's to park you next to a muton. The reason that I'm able to do that is because he has combatives. So with that, he can counter an attack made by a melee operative, like a muton. Uh, like a muton, right. Like a muton. So that shuts down that muton. Speaking of shutting down... Michelle, I know you're not specifically geared towards melee conflict, but you can definitely do it. And these guys have a particular knack for being killed off by swords. Hey Pavel, welcome to the stream and thanks for following. Alright, this guy is going to be harder to dislodge. Let's see. Nope. Don't want that. Um, from where can I see him? Here? Moving. We can go for a soul fire, which does guaranteed damage, or an insanity of 59. No, we're gonna Your go for a soul fire. He's just starting. Good hit. Nice high roll. Rattler. I think that you don't really have too many options, but again, he does have combatives. I'm going to park him next to a muton as well. He's armed with a vibroblade, so if that muton does try and make a melee bash, which they usually will, there's a very good chance that he's going to get countered, because that's what the combatives do. I punched a nice clean wall in that hole, or in that wall over there, but that was not a hit. Sudden death. I have something else in mind for you. I want you to move up here. Check your colors, let's go! Because there's still a rocketeer up there and I don't yet have a plan for him. Okay, here comes the combatives counter. I hope so. He's dropping down. Okay. Here we go. He goes for the bash, gets countered, and gets killed. <laughs> That's one less. Oh, and you dropped some loot too. That's very kind of you. Saves me the walk. Asset How about you? 
I think he didn't quite hear what happened to his friend. <laughs> Late storm missed. Oh. What the bloody hell are we gonna do now? Shit, the combatives did not kick in. Oh. I thought combatives was guarantee. What happened here? What the hell happened? You may parry melee attacks and counterattacks. Okay. Should have seen that coming. Move! And yeah, Largazo, you called it. There's the Rocketeer. Which I cannot get to. Not with anybody at that. Hmm. Okay, I need you to stay safe. Stay out of sight for a second. Can you get that Rocketeer? Yeah, you'll be able to get him. Here he is. But the problem is this Muton is going to jump right on top of me. I don't want that to happen either. I'm on it. Okay, this fight's going to drag on for another turn. Secured. Hold. You do have a shot, but it's only two to four. Or, yeah. Oh well, damage is damage. Oh damn it! Critical as well. Should have reloaded her gun though. All right, I want you to come over here. Um. I don't really have too many good options, as it stands. Move over here and hold for further orders. Nice view, Commander. This is going to be a very dangerous operative, and I really hope that that Rocketeer is not going to actually launch a rocket. No way. That would have seen uh, unlikely. What's that Rocketeer up to? I really don't like this whole not knowing part. Moving. Does the AI not know how to use the Rocketeer? Maybe. Your nightmare is just starting. Send it. Whoa! I was not expecting a kill there. I thought I'd have to help him along with uh, the use of Royal. Speaking of Royal. Royal has great mobility, but she still does not know where that enemy operative is. Find out. Oh, he didn't move an inch. <laughs> Alright, Royal. Go get him. If you fuck this up, you're dead. You know that, right? That's not going to go down well for you. But she doesn't. Okay, Rattler has some stuff. Uh, I want you to go over here. No, actually, she can do that. You're going to get this loot. You're going to get that crate. Go! Now, I don't have enough troops anymore to bring all the loot crates home. Hmm. I can tell. Okay, start falling back. But... Make sure you take that guy with you. Okay, you're gonna take a crate. You already have a crate. Yeah. Damn, I really hope that that combatives would just immediately neutralize him, but it didn't. Get it done. Rattler, we're gonna go look for that stun lancer corpse and bring it in because that's another sword. Moving. Okay, pick up the loot that uh, Maori left behind. Got the goods. Weeb, you still don't have a package. This one's check. Yeah, Moving out. We are, however, looking at an enemy squad that's going to be coming in very soon. 
So I need to start making my way to the extraction point. Three turns, and then they're here. We still have a fair way to go. Moving to position. This is going to be a long walk with a very heavy muton on your shoulder, but get it done. Uh, Weeb, get in here. Yes, come on. Don't worry, sir. Thirsty. Start walking, buddy. I know you don't like carrying something this heavy, but it's uh, it's valuable. This guy. Okay. Sudden death. It was a very sudden death, but not his. Okay, leave no man behind. Rattler, to the extraction point, please. Rolling out. Hurst, to the extraction point. Walker is going to be doing what her name indicates. Walk. <laughs> a lot. Time to motor. And Philip is still back here, opening his crate. But fortunately, he's only carrying an SMG, so he should be fast. But the game's gonna have to go through all the uh, moving animations first. There we go. Resource cache confirmed. Gun it. I'm on it, Commander. Rattler, you're out of here. Just in time. And we're up. Okay, bring that big mech with you. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds a bit like something from McDonald's. Uh, the brick... The brick? Go, the big go. mechtoid. Go. Weeb, you only have one turn. We're not stopping for corpses at yes, this point. Royal. Got double it. time. Hursty, up you go. There's Michelle. Oh, he might still pick up a corpse because I parked him right next to one. Heads up. Yep, heads up Follow indeed, me. because the enemy is here. Philip, grab a alien for transport. And the rest of you get to the extraction point. We're leaving. But damn, Maori was supposed to survive that mission. Damn it. All right, we're clear. He was one of my best operatives early on in the campaign. Damn. Okay. Let's hope that at least I got some good supplies out of this mission. Let's see what we get. At least a promotion for Rattler. He did really well. Countering all those incoming troops. Say so three missions, nine kills. It's an average of three to one. That's good. Running gun, lone wolf, or rapid fire. Would lone wolf help this guy? I don't think so. Well, seven tiles. If he's running out in front of a group as a scout or as a first engager then he will be able to benefit from this. So he would have a base 94 aim if Lone Wolf triggers. Let's go for it. KIA. Benek, aka Maori. Loot. 16 alloys, 73 supplies, 4 cores, 6 locked boxes, a data pad, a couple of strong boxes, a data cache, and a couple of corpses. Uh, it's not a bad hole. But I would have rather hoped that the guy would have survived. Let's go to the bar. Uh, memorial. See, for the last 
three months, I didn't lose anybody. Everybody died on uh, Fire Shriek. And then Maori died on Tomb Witch. Days on the Avenger, 116. He was lost to a bayonet attack from a muton. Days in the Infirmary, 38. Now, interestingly, if his... Um, his blade storm had triggered, he would have probably survived. Because if the blade storm had triggered, he wouldn't have gotten hit by the grenadier. No, sorry, by the officer. And the officer was the one that inflicted a bit of damage to him. And the muton did the rest. So. Uh, didn't trigger his blade storm. Lost HP. Then. Uh. <laughs> Didn't trigger his uh, combatives. Got killed. Rip in episode 28. Alright. Here's the Mori, guys. Cheers. And with that, I'm going to end the episode. I know I keep teasing that alien uh, mission that we're going to be doing where I need to intercept that transport that's coming in. I'll be doing that next episode. But I needed to get my guys in first. I need to get my good troops home and then I can send them out on these critical missions. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you soon for the next one.